Hello everyone. In this video I will be talking about Cisco Stack Power. Stack Power is a technology that provides power redundancy to Cisco access switches. We have two modes in Stack Power. The power sharing mode where the power of all power supplies is grouped in one pool and distributed across the switches. And we have the redundancy mode where the power of one power supply is reserved on the side in case another power supply fails. We have two topologies to connect stack power. We have the ring topology. We can use four switches maximum, but we do not need an external power supply. And we have the star topology where you can connect up to nine switches maximum, but you need an external power supply. Each switch will connect to it. This is the ring topology. I have colored the connections just to show where to connect each uh, power stack cable from uh, the four switches. And for the configurations, first you need to go to the conf uh, to the global configuration mode and type in stack dash power stack and you give it a name. Right now, in this example, I uh, use power stack dash one, and then you specify the mode. Power shared. Cisco recommends using the power shared mode. And we have some priority values we need to add when we configure the parameters for the switches. We have 1 to 9 are the priority, priority values for switches. And then we have some other values for the uh, ports, high priority ports and low priority ports. Like it says here, the Low priority ports are PoE ports that will shut down first in case of power loss. That's why we specify priority. And the lower the number, the higher the priority. For example, right here, we go to global configuration mode. We type in stack dash power switch one, and we specify which stack it belongs to. The four switches, switch one, two, three and four have to belong to the same uh, power stack. I colored it the same to, uh, to show and then power dash priority switch one. This is not the number of the switch. This is the priority value. In this case, I used one, two, three and four because we have the ring topology of uh, four switches maximum. And then the high priority ports 10, 11, 12, 13, and the low priority ports 19, 20, 21, 22. This is a, uh, a screenshot from a switch at work. And this stack I have six switches and I connected the first four in a ring topology. Right here you see the number of the switches. And the last two uh, together. So the first four are sharing uh, the power of their power supplies. Each one is 1100 watts. You can see the total is 4400 allocated how much is used and how much is unused. You can see with using this command show stack dash power. Hey guys, so these are the power stack cables unpacked and ready to be installed so we have one side with a green tape and other side with a yellow tape if we have an external power supply the green tape <clears throat> this side always goes in the switch and this side goes in the power supply but we don't have the external power supply so we can't do the star topology I'm gonna do the ring topology and in this rack, um, we have six switches. The ring topology can do four switches at a time, or maximum. So I'm going to do the first four and the last two together. So the power stacking ports are located right here, beside the power supply. These are the last two switches. Um, in a ring topology, connect port one, to port 2 on the second one and then port 1 on the second to port 2 on the first and these are the first four switches all connected I usually 
Just uh, draw a diagram like this so I don't uh, make any mistakes. It helps. Now it's all connected and good to go. So now the first four switches are sharing the power of their power supplies. And the last two switches are sharing the power of uh, both power supplies.